Hi there. In this sample, I will demonstrate how to use the Apigee Maven config plugin to push environment configurations like target servers, key value maps, and organization configurations like API products, developers, and developer apps to Apigee using Cloud Build. Apigee Maven config plugin is a tool to create, manage Apigee configurations like KVMs, target servers, resource files, API products, developers, apps, flow hooks, and many more. Please visit the plugins documentation to find more information around what the tool can offer. We will also be using Cloud Build, which is a fully managed continuous integration, delivery, and deployment platform that lets you run fast, consistent, and reliable automated builds. Now, for this sample, the prerequisites we will need are you should have an Apigee X provisioned and configure external access for API traffic. Now, as a user, you will need permissions or roles to push configurations to Apigee like an API admin or an org admin. You will also need to have permissions to trigger Cloud Build in your GCP project. And finally, you will need tools like gcloud, unzip, curl, and jq installed. This sample can be demonstrated using the Cloud Shell Quick Start tutorial or following the setup instructions in the README. Now, in this video, we will use the Cloud Shell Quick Start. Click the Open in Google Cloud Shell to open the Cloud Shell environment. Once the environment is loaded, let's follow the instructions provided in the tutorial. Now that our Cloud Shell environment is completely loaded and ready to use, let's go through the tutorial instructions that we have on the very right. The first thing that we will have to do is do the environment setup. Now to do that, the first thing we will have to ensure is that we should have an active GCP account selected in the Cloud Shell. So let's go through the login process. Now, once the login is complete, let's navigate to the deploy Apigee config directory. And the next step is where we will have to update some configurations in the environment.sh file. So let's click this link here to open the file in the editor. Now let's go through the file very quickly. We have two variables that we will have to populate. One is the project ID and the other one is the Apigee environment where we would want to push the configurations into. I've updated this particular configuration file. Now let's go ahead and save this. Now that we have this file saved, let's source this file. Click authorize. And now that we have our prerequisites complete on the instructions, let's click start. Now the first thing that we will have to do is enable the Cloud Build API. So let's go ahead and enable that. After the API is enabled, let's assign the Apigee org admin role to the cloud build service account. So we just copy over the gcloud command, run it, and that should be it. And now the final step is to actually trigger the cloud build using the command gcloud build submit and passing a substitutional value, which is our Apigee environment that we had sourced earlier in the env.sh file. Now this is gonna take a few minutes now going back to the cloud build, we see that it's complete. We see a status is successful. Now let's go ahead and make sure that it is completely configured the way we want it. So to verify this configuration, let's log into the Apigee console. So let's click this link, which should open the Apigee console. And let's go back to the instructions. The instructions says that navigate to admin environments, target servers. You should see a target server called sample target created. Similarly, if we go to admin environments key value maps, we should see a key value map called sample KVM. So let's go check that out. So I've gone to admin environments target servers. Yes, I do see a sample target created. Now let's, let's look at the key value maps. Yes, we do see a sample KVM. Now for the org entities, we'll have to go to publish API products to see a sample product. Similarly, 
publish developer to see a sample developer and then publish apps to see a sample app. So let's go verify that. Now let's go to publish API products. Yes, I see a sample product created two minutes ago. Uh, let's go to developers. We do see a sample developer. And then let's look at the apps. That is a sample app. Now with that, we know that the build was successful and was able to push all the configurations to the app G environment. And finally, we have a cleaner script. So if you would want to clean up all the artifacts that we just created as part of this example, please go ahead and run this cleanup script. That should basically delete all the artifacts that we just created. Thanks for watching. I hope this content was useful to you. If you have not signed up for Apigee yet, use this link. And if you have any questions, please visit the Apigee community.